Well, it's time for a preview of the maritime weather forecast. For that, we turn to meteorologist Kaylin Mitchell, who's standing by in the Weather Center. Kaylin, so many questions from everyone viewing right now. We want to know the latest on Hurricane Lee. And that's what we're going to start with, Crystal. So here's the latest update on that storm system. Hurricane Lee continues as a Category 3 hurricane. Maximum sustained winds near the eye of the storm at around 185 kilometers per hour. Of course, those wind speeds would diminish the further out from that eye you go. Moving very slowly at the moment towards the west northwest at only near 10 kilometers per hour and the reason why it is moving so slowly right now it's stuck underneath a little bit of a ridge of high pressure that is sitting to the east of the Maritimes now as that high pressure system weakens and that's what is expected over the next 24 to 36 hours that will allow for a northward movement for Hurricane Lee and the system is actually expected to pick up speed once it starts to make that move up towards the north as well and it is that northward movement that poses a risk for us as far as our weekend weather goes goes here in Atlantic Canada in the Maritimes. As we can take a look at the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center, you can see that northward turn is first a Category 3 hurricane and then coming down to a Category 2 and eventually a Category 1 hurricane as it moves over some cooler ocean waters, relatively cooler, as well as runs into, runs into some wind shear. It then approaches very early Saturday morning to the southern marine districts of the Maritimes as a Category 1 hurricane. Now, we're likely to be into some of the weather from that system before then, though, as it will be growing in size. Its intensity may not be increasing, but the size of the weather system will grow. We'll see some of the wind and the rain sort of diffuse from the center. So we could start to get into some of the rain from this weather system as early as Friday night, and with winds increasing as we move through uh, early morning Saturday and uh, throughout the day. So it's still going to bear some watching for us here in the Maritimes. There is still some uncertainty in the specific path that is going to take through the region and a lot of specific weather impacts to specific areas will depend on the more precise nature of that path, which we will get a better idea on, idea on as we move through this week. Now we are contending with some damp weather today around the region. We've got some cloud cover, some showers and drizzle on the go. I'll have more details on that coming up shortly, Crystal. Thanks so much, Kaylin. Quick question. We saw that it was pretty much right on the button in our region. Any chance yeah. that it's going to stray like way over here or way over there and not be an issue? Uh, very unlikely at this point in time. It does look like we will have some weather impacts from this weather system. That's looking like the most likely scenario for the weekend, Crystal. It's just that the more precise nature of those impacts will take a couple of days to really come into focus uh, yet. All right. Thanks so much, Kaylin.